Do you want to stay motivated and grow on Twitch in this new year? Well, then you need to start setting some Twitch goals. Let's talk about them. Hey, it's me, it's Wild, coming at you for my stream support playlist where I bring you the best tips and tricks. And if this is your first time here and you want to learn how to grow and improve your stream, make sure you hit that big red subscribe button and tick that bell so you know when my videos go live for you. And hey, at any point in this video, if you like the products or the services that I'm talking about, I did you a favor. I attached all the links in the show notes below, so make sure you check them out. So I wanted to take a minute and talk to you about 2019. If any of you out there are getting into Twitch or you're starting out your YouTube career or you're at the beginning of your streaming adventure or you're a veteran and you're trying to grow bigger and better, I want you all to do something exceedingly important for 2019. I want you all to start thinking about what goals you want to accomplish. And I don't care if you're on Twitch, YouTube, Mixer, Hitbox, Caffeine TV, Omelette Arcade, Facebook gaming, and more. I want you to think about where you wanna be one year from now. What goals do you want to accomplish? How hard do you wanna push? When you start establishing goals for the new year, it makes you think about two key factors. One is it makes you think about how are you gonna obtain and reach the goals that you're gonna set forth for you in this new year. Makes you brainstorm a little bit, which is super important because you have to think a little bit outside the box on how you wanna achieve your goals. And the second key factor is it's gonna help you stay motivated as you work to get to these goals and start checking them off on this year. Now that we got that out of the way, I wanna share with you some of the personal tactics and secrets I use to accomplish goals throughout the year. And I've been using this my whole life. I love setting goals and I love reaching them. And if you're interested in what my goals are for 2019, at the end of this video, I'm gonna go over all of them and you can give me some feedback because I'd love to hear it. So let me show you some of my little tips. For the first tip that I wanna give to you is I want you all to write down your goals. You know, it's been neurologically studied that if you write down your goals, you're 42% more likely to reach them and accomplish them. There's actually been tons of studies. I'll put a few articles down below from uh, Forbes and also Huffington Post, but it's very fascinating and trust me, it really does work. When you start thinking of your goals, refine them down and then write them down on a list. Our second tip comes from Dave Ramsey who is a financial guru, a businessman, and a motivational speaker. And if you read his books or you listen, listen to his radio show, he talks often about setting your goals in stages. So you wanna have a couple of small goals and a couple of medium goals and a couple of large goals. And those small goals will help you get to your medium goals and those medium goals will help you get to your large goals. It's an awesome tactic and let me tell you, it works well because as you start chipping away at the small ones, you see that you're making progress and that allows you to accomplish the medium goals, which don't seem so daunting. And as you accomplish the medium goals, the large goals will be within reach of achieving those. It's a great tip and I use it all the time. One thing that I personally like to do in staging my goals from small, medium, and large is I like to put one or two goals that are just slightly out of reach. Now I don't shoot for the moon because I know I'm not gonna be able to get it and thus it will kind of depress me, but I wanna put a little bit of a carrot out there that I might be able to obtain or reach that brass ring. And that makes it fun when I've accomplished all my goals. Hey, doesn't mean I should stop. Maybe I should try to reach for this thing that is just slightly out of reach. Hey, you never know, I might obtain it. I think we can all agree that we pretty much get lazy with our goals and that's why they kind of just fall by the wayside. And one thing that I love to do so this doesn't happen and I stay motivated, I literally take the list that I write down and I post it or nail it or thumbtack it somewhere where I have to look at it pretty much every day. And for some of you, this might be your office or your bedroom or your hallway. Heck, it could be in your bathroom. Put it somewhere where you're gonna have to see it so that way you're motivated to accomplish and achieve all these goals. And this way it'll stop you from being lazy and letting it sit by the wayside because you basically just threw your list away or lost it. Tip number four is if you need a little extra motivation out there, why not include your community or audience on Twitch or YouTube or whatever streaming platform you're on? Why don't you make a panel about you know your 2019 goals or milestones or things that you wanna accomplish 
in your panel section or the about me section. You know, it's really cool to see what people want to accomplish and this will allow your community or your audience to help you stay on par with trying to reach that. And also it'll help you establish what goals are perhaps a little more engaging for your audience out there. It'll give you a nice little bit of feedback. So don't be afraid to include your goals on your channel. Now our last tip is really tough for some of you out there because it's literally gonna be about doing this precise thing. If you cannot make your goals strictly about numbers, you'll be better off. A lot of you out there are gonna wanna get to 100 subscribers or you want to reach a, a certain number for affiliation or you want to get so many people concurrently in your channel so that way you can reach partner and so forth when you reach numbers it's it's difficult it kind of demoralizes you and depresses you when you're not getting those what you want to do is think about actions that are going to lead to those numbers increasing so think about goals in that aspect, but not so much number wise. Now I know this is tough because some people's goals are gonna be strictly number based, but think about how you can get to those numbers. Now that I've given you all this great advice, I basically have to practice what I preach. And guess what? I did. I already went ahead and bought a piece of foam core, wrote on here with Sharpie, goals that what I want to accomplish for YouTube, Twitch, and personal. Plus I left extra space because I know I'm gonna accomplish goals and I can write new ones in there throughout the year. Plus, hey, things might change or things might pivot where I may have new goals. So I can't really remember all the goals off the top of my head, which is why I also recommend writing down a list. So I'm gonna read right off the top of my list. So for my goals in this YouTube channel, I'm gonna to try to reach 100,000 subscribers and see if I can obtain that silver button from YouTube. I also would like to do three collaboration videos. Also, if there's somebody you would like me to collaborate out there with on this YouTube channel, please do me a favor and leave a comment below because I am generally intrigued to know who you guys would like to see. Also, I'd like to start doing video game content on this channel. I have a huge passion for Mega Man, as you can see behind me here, but I'd love to actually do videos on maybe like history of certain games or reviews or anything like that. It's a passion of mine. So I'd love to see how I can incorporate it in this channel for fun. Also, I like to split my channel into two channels. For some of you who've been here around since the beginning, I have two sides of this YouTube channel. One is way more dominant. It's the Twitch and live streaming side and the VOD side. And you know what? I do painting. A lot of my videos still get high viewer counts from how to paint. So somewhere in this new year, I'm actually gonna split my channel into two. So stay tuned for what channel I will be releasing if you're interested in creative content or painting or anything art related. And also, I would really appreciate it if I can get some viewership and numbers over there for watch count and subscribers so that way I can start to earn a little bit of income off that so that way I can use all the revenue to keep creating high quality content. And my last goal for YouTube is to create a website that helps better organize for everyone out there that's trying to grow on Twitch, YouTube, Mixer, and any streaming platform beyond. YouTube's a great platform, but it's no way easily organized that I can make something that's like a guide for everyone out there to learn and grow. Now my goals for Twitch are as follows. Expand the stream coaching platform that I have here. Stream coaching has been a huge bump for me and I love helping all of you out. And I have so many good testimonials from all of you out there and such great feedback. The problem is it's taking up so much of my time. So I gotta kinda refine it. I've gotten hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of signups Plus, I've gotten people that want to do more one-on-one -on -one coaching, people that want mentorships, and to be honest, I never thought it would go in this direction. I just want to help people grow. So I'm going to try to expand and refine the stream coaching process. Plus, I want to start playing a backlog of games. I've got so many games I have to go through. I mean, look at all these games. Some of these are still wrapped in the cellophane and I've never had a chance to play them or stream them. So that's something I'm gonna start working on on my own Twitch channels. I was, I'd love to get through the backlog of these games because I have a huge passion for video games and stories. Another goal that I'm gonna have for my Twitch channel is I would like to redesign and also add new features to my stream channel. You know, since I've done a lot of different streams from stream coaching, to painting, to playing games, to IRL, to mobile painting, to cooking streams. I've had to break down, reset up, break down, reset up my whole streaming rig. Plus when I do videos for YouTube, I have to change things for that too. 
And sadly, I sometimes become lazy and I don't reintroduce or reinstall things correctly on my stream. So I would like to go back and fix or reestablish all the things that I have and some of the things that I preach on my own channel to increase. So look later this year for a whole new overhaul. And then the last goal I have for Twitch is get another booth at TwitchCon 2019. I love going to TwitchCon and more importantly, I love having a booth and selling my paintings, meeting all of you there and doing live painting demonstrations. It's an awesome thing. Now, if you're interested in my personal goals, I don't have many because I have a bunch of other goals in different categories, but I kept it kind of simple this year. For my personal goals, I'd love to sell more paintings this year than I did versus last year. I would also like to establish and create new merchandise for my Twitch channel, my YouTube channel, and everything and beyond. I would also love to get back into photography. A lot of you probably didn't know, I've been a fashion photographer about 10 to 12 years, but I haven't had much time to do anything with it. In fact, it's kind of fallen by the wayside with doing streaming and YouTube. So I'd love to start doing that again. And for the last one is I would love to start saving up for my Bob Ross certification. As many of you have seen on my Twitch channel, I'm a creative streamer. I love to paint in oils and I have a huge admiration and love for the mentor of Bob Ross. And thus, I wanna go get my certification done. And I'm actually gonna start with that goal right now. Here's my first $100 that I'm putting towards my Bob Ross certification. I don't plan on going this year, but I plan on saving up enough money to kind of chip away at it. And there you go. Those are all my 2019 goals that I plan on setting forth for this year. Now I'm really curious, what are some of yours? Do you guys have any goals that you'd like to see me achieve in 2019? I would love to know that as well. So don't be afraid to tweet or message me at, at Wild for Games on Twitter and Instagram. And thank you guys so much. 2018 was super awesome and I wanna make 2019 just as big or heck, maybe even bigger. So do me a favor and go on over to twitch.tv slash wild for games. And if you see what you like there, don't be afraid to hit that almighty subscribe button. Thank you to those that already have. Thank you guys for watching this video. I will see you all throughout 2019 in my next awesome stream support video coming up real soon. Take care all, peace.